Hello, welcome to Faber Book Time. My name's Lou Kunzler and I write the Zebra series. Not Yet Zebra, which is all about the alphabet, and Calm Down Zebra, which is all about colours and painting and patterns. And they're both illustrated by the wonderful Julia Wolfe. I've always wanted to be a writer, ever since I was little. When I was young, I loved things like dressing up and fancy dress parties and being in school plays where you could put on a costume and become the character. And I think writing was a little bit like that. You become the character and you sink into the stories that you've imagined. So I feel very, very lucky that I've managed to live my dream and actually become a writer and live with my stories every day. An interesting thing you should know about me is that I love to collect alphabet books. This one is made out of cloth and it's a particular favourite of mine. Perhaps that's why I got so interested in the idea of telling stories about the alphabet when I made up my Not Yet Zebra. I'm going to read you Not Yet Zebra, written by me, Lou Kunzler, and illustrated by Julia Wolfe. Annie said to the animals, please stand in a line. I'm painting my alphabet. Come one at a time. First aardvark, and bear, and crocodile too. Not yet, Zebra. I'm not ready for you. You're not the one I want to see. Zed comes at the end. We've only reached D. Now dog, and elephant, and... Zebra, please think. You are not flamingo. You are not even pink. Look what Zebra's done. He's stolen Annie's ballet tutu and made himself a cardboard pink beak pretending to be flamingo. I need gorilla and hamster and what did I say? Not yet, Zebra, please go away. He's dressed up in a hamster onesie, silly Zebra. Now iguana, then jellyfish, then kangaroo. And lion and monkey must have a go to N is quite tricky. Hmm. N is quite tricky. I wonder what animal I chose that begins with N. Hmm. N is quite tricky. But you're definitely not Newt. I know you're just Zebra, wearing a suit. O is for Oh No. Whose leg do you think that might be? O is for Oh No. Zebra, not yet. Don't you know your alphabet? Annie sighed and said firmly, Octopus is O, stop pulling her leg and please let her go. Panda, quail, rhinoceros, come along through, let snakes slither in and zebra just shoo. There's quail there. Quail is a little tiny bird that begins with a Q. I know tiger is stripy, but he's not black and white and unicorn certainly doesn't look right. You can't mess about with the ABC. We're still not at Z. We've only reached V. Vulture and walrus, please step forward next. Now, does anyone's name contain an X? Hmm, it's another tricky one. Can you think of an animal that has an X in its name? Hmm. Not yet, Zebra. You are not Fox. Don't be so naughty. Let him out of that box. Look what Zebra's done. He's stuffed Fox into the dressing up box and is sitting on the top of it. No wonder Annie's getting a bit cross. Go away, Zebra. Let Yak have his turn. When are you ever going to learn? Now who do I need? I'm right at the end. Ah, yes, Annie cried. Where's Zebra, my friend? Can you see him there? Hmm. Don't think he is there, is he? Now who do I need? I'm right at the end. Ah, yes, Annie cried. Where's Zebra, my friend? Where has he got to? Annie looked all around, but Zebra just simply couldn't be found. Strange, Annie wondered. Was it something I said? I can hear snoring. Oh no, he's in bed. Zzz. Poor old Zebra had got so carried away and overexcited that he's ended up having to go to bed before his turn. And you can see all his costumes. There's his 
octopus legs and his newt suit and his monkey ears. And oh, can you remember what that one was? The flamingo beak, that's right. And what was this one? The unicorn horn. But don't worry, Zebra does get to have a go in the very, very end because we can see all the lovely pictures that Annie painted and there's Zebra having his portrait done. Now I'm going to read Calm Down, Zebra. Annie said to the animals, let's help baby Joe. He's learning his colours, which he doesn't yet know. I'll paint pictures of you. Please line up for me. If I choose the right colours, then Joe will soon see. Frog, fetch the green paint. That's perfect, well done. And Lion, you're yellow, as bright as the sun. Next. I'll paint cat as black as the night. But goodness me, polar bear, you don't look right. You're supposed to be plain, like the ice or the snow. Those crazy pink lines will confuse little Joe. The sheep and the llamas were all just as bad. Someone had gone completely stripe mad. Who did this? asked Annie but it was easy to guess. Her old stripy friend was behind all this mess. Joe wriggled and giggled. He clapped with delight, but Annie said firmly, no, Joe, it's not right. Orangutan's orange. She should not be bright blue. Calm down, Zebra. This just will not do. But Cheetah had joined in, giving everyone spots while Lima did rings and Dalmatian did dots. Behave, Annie warned. Please all just calm down. Do not copy Zebra. He is being a clown. But then Annie saw there was still worse to come. Zebra had painted on elephant's bum. Annie tried to look cross, but she started to laugh and she couldn't stop grinning when she spotted giraffe. Peacock, cried Annie, her eyes wide with surprise. He was silver and gold like a shimmering prize. Annie looked all around at what Zebra had done. It was wild and colourful, zany and fun. Oh, Zebra, she cheered. You were right from the start. Joe should choose his own colours. Let's all make some art. She handed out pictures in plain black and white, saying, colour them in however you like. Then Joe took a paint pot and Zebra did too. Joe started with green and Zebra picked blue. They painted each other from their heads to their toes, two shimmering, glimmering, stripy rainbows. I hope you enjoyed listening to the Zebra stories and if you want to do some creative things of your own today I wonder perhaps you could think about the letter that begins your name and choose an animal that begins with the same letter as your name and maybe you could write a story about them draw some pictures to go with it or perhaps you could draw a picture of your favourite animal 
and colour it in however you like. Enjoy your day, have lots of fun reading, writing and drawing. <laughs>